Hi friends, this is Pastor Randy, pastor of Carmel First United Methodist Church in Concord United Methodist Church, and I'd like to welcome you to our online worship service this morning. I'm here in my home, and I'm standing kind of in front of and beside something that we've enjoyed over the years that we've been in Carmel. We don't always take notice of it because it's part of our house. It is a cross made up of the names of Jesus. And uh, it's something that uh, it's always here. It's a decal that we put on our wall. Call your attention to some of the names. Uh, over here it says, Lord of Lords. You may not be able to read them, but up at the top it says, Lamb of God, Redeemer. I've counted, there's about 25 different names that makes up the cross. And it reminds Gail and I, Gail and I of who we are in Christ, that he is our Redeemer. He's our King of Kings. He's our Creator, the King of Heaven, the Good Shepherd. We, we love to look at those names and think of Jesus and what he has meant to us in our lives since we've been following him and serving him. So I wanted to use that to kind of kick off our worship time this morning. And as we do, again, I want to thank Ruth Stokey for providing the special music and the hymns. And we have been uh, back to worship. Uh, we've been out, uh, worshiping outside, and we're going to do that again this Sunday. So you're invited to come to our worship service, and we'd be glad to see you there. So let's have a prayer. Heavenly Father, we just come to you in Jesus' name. We thank you for the opportunity that you've given to us to love you, to walk with you, and to serve you over the years. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your blessing in our life and the peace that you give us through your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for the, these names of Jesus that remind us of who he is, that he indeed is our Redeemer, our Lamb of God our good shepherd, all of these things Jesus is to us. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the resurrection and the life. Father, we lift up those who are struggling this morning, whether it be through because of sickness. Uh, Father, we pray for those who are dealing with this virus and ask for your healing touch. Those with, that are dealing with other physical needs, we put them in your hands and believe for your divine and healing power in their lives. We pray for those who are grieving. We pray for the family of Roy O'Neill this morning. We ask that you would be with this family, give them peace and comfort and the assurance of your presence. Heavenly Father, we pray that you would be with our, our church. I pray that you would bless Carmi First Methodist and Concord that you would enable and strengthen each ministry, that we would be in service to the community around us. We pray for our country, pray for our president, President Trump and our, and our Congress and all the governors and all those in positions of authority. We pray against the violence that have been, has been having and the division in our country, Lord. We pray, Father, that you would unite us in Christ. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, then I will hear from heaven and heal their land. And we pray for that. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you would bless us as we worship you this morning. Open our hearts to receive all that you have for us, and we'll give you the glory and the praise. And we pray as Jesus has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. We'll see you soon. Thank you.